junior qualifier and an auto Cali spot but a meet record for Peyton Craig the first time final at the end of 23,000 metres we're off and away now in our second time final this is seeded as the B race we'll see how the gents go it might be a breakout performance or two here 16 of them in the field Nicholas Martin from Victoria goes in one Alexander Qua of Tasmania and two, Zach Connell of South Australia three, Cooper Giles of South Australia four, Zach Norton of Victoria and five, Cameron Gorman of New South Wales six, Ben Siaka of Queensland seven, Simon Magna of New South Wales eight, Harry Whitford of South Australia and nine, Reese Hadfield of Victoria and ten. Then a trio of Queenslanders, Ethan Gray in eleven, Jackson Cranich in twelve, Brock War in thirteen, Lachlan Belgrove of Victoria in 14, Luca De Toro of Western Australia in 15, and Matthew Hans of Queensland in 16. So, looks like Cam Gorman, who's one of the quicker athletes on paper, he is at the front of the field at the moment. Goes through in about oh, 66, 67, so similar sort of 400 pace to begin proceedings. 243 was the first K in in the, the uh, first time final. That was 8.09 pace, so I think my mass was a little bit out there. 8.09 pace they were through the first K. And it looks like Ethan Gray of Queensland just behind him with Jackson Cranich. Sitting in third, the boys out in single file, 600 metres into the second time final. And well strung out after 800 metres. Keep a sneaky eye on the time because it's very handy, 2.13. So, about 66.67s. It would be a massive PB for Cam Gorman to get anywhere near the 8.12s that were just set for the current gold, silver and bronze medal positions in the first time final. He's an 8.28 athlete. He's certainly been on the improve though. And they're coming down to the first K. It's not going to be quite as quick. They're going to be a couple of seconds under, uh, sorry, over 2.47. 66 is the first case split. So currently four seconds behind the 
first time final. They did slow down in that second K. It was a 2.51 second K. So if they can go 2.47, 2.47, they will be on exactly the same pace. 5.34 through 2K as the first race. Cam Gorman doing all the work out the front with Ethan Gray getting a lovely sit just behind him, getting pulled around. So is Kranich and the Western Australian athlete up there, Luca De Toro. Then comes one of the Victorian athletes and another Queenslander just behind him. It's a front pack of six. The South Australian just trying to bridge the gap, doing a good job actually. And he'll latch on to make a front pack of seven. And those athletes are trying to leap out of that chase group and latch on to the back of the front group. Another one of Victorians trying to do that at the moment. You can see he's working hard to, to try and get there. Cam Gorman. Well, I think they might have gone through almost exactly the same split through the 1200. Sorry, the 1400. And now Ethan Gray, for the first time in the race, has taken over the lead. Cam Gorman doing all the work for essentially the first half of the race. It's Ethan Gray who leads proceedings. So the Victorian up there, it's actually Reese Hadfield. He sits in third at the moment. He's just moved his way up nicely through the front and Hanson. Matthew Hanson of Queensland sitting in fourth there. There is Luca De Toro. It's actually, sorry, Kranich who leads proceedings at the moment. So there's three Queenslanders up there in a front pack of eight. Kranich leads them through with three laps to go. And are these three just starting to pull away. Hadfield, Gorman, and Kranich. It's just a little bit of a gap. Now back to, I think that is Ethan Gray, seeing him fourth, and Luca De Toro of Western Australia in fifth. As we're coming down to the 2K split. 5.34 was the 2K split in the first race, 5.38 for the second. So they've split a 2.51 through the second K, identical to the first time final. So maybe, just maybe, it might not be out of the question if Kranich can start to really go at this stage. And he is trying to. The boys have seen the time that they need. They go through with two laps to go, 6.12 on the clock. So they kind of need a pair of 60s to do it. It might be a little bit out of reach, but it's been a great job thus far. Kranich and Gorman now breaking away from Reese Hadfield. So coming down to a race of two now, Luca de Toro has moved himself up to fourth with I think Ethan Gray just falling back a little bit now. So Lincoln Belgrove is making his way up to Reese Hadfield, his Victorian teammate now, and may just pass him. He's looking pretty good for third place. He moves him to that spot now. He's moving very nicely, but the race up the front between Jackson Kranich and Cameron Gorman. Another state of origin battle. We've seen a lot of them over the weekend thus far. We're going to get another one here in the second time final for the under 20 men's 3K. Kranich and Gorman, 7.21 on the clock. So it's not going to be 8.12, but it could be some very big PBs. Cam Gorman, 8.28. Jackson Kranich, 8.35. So certainly can get under 8.30 here. Gorman now just starts to move past the shoulder of Kranich. And the New South Wales athlete on his home track. Looks good with 250 metres to go. Lincoln Belgrove from Victoria having an excellent 
final couple of laps here. He's actually making up a little bit of ground to the front too, but Kranich now responding, goes past Gorman again. So matches the move with 300 to go, makes his move with 200 to go. Can Gorman mount another challenge? Kranich is starting to pull away from New South Wales athlete. Gorman is trying, Kranich is holding. And Cranch is now moving away again. So the second time final, we have ticked over the medal getters from the first time final. It will be those first three across the line, but this has been excellent by Jackson Cranch. He takes the second time final, 8, 27, 28. Gorman just holds on to second from Lincoln Belgrove of Victoria, who finishes in third. Big PB for Jackson Cranch of Queensland's 8.26, about nine second PB for him. It just gives you an idea, and we're four seconds behind the first time final through 2K. They end up 14 seconds behind, so 10 seconds quicker over the final K with the boys.